Alphabet, which also just came out with these numbers. And it looks to be sinking because of the cloud revenue, specifically yep. missing mm -hmm. estimates. How big of a disappointment is that? Uh, in my opinion, I think uh, uh, shares of Google down 5% on cloud miss while search and YouTube are above expectations is a bit of an exaggeration. Um, down 2% would, would be an okay um, after hours reaction. And I would expect uh, shares to regain some of the lost ground as uh, the night progresses, as the day progresses tomorrow, is what I feel as a first pass. I think they check the boxes on YouTube, they check the boxes on search, margins are better, hiring is slower, cloud is kind of uh, uh, on the margin and expectations game versus Microsoft versus Amazon. They're still growing faster, uh, so I would, I would say this is uh, a lot of positives with a slight yellow flag. And Rohit, um, you know, listen, obviously there's been a boom of interest in AI and Google yep. has putting a lot of time and energy into that technology and they can, they've got the cash and some of the smartest engineers on the planet. Do you see them, Rohit, as a key beneficiary of AI in the quarters and years ahead? Um, uh, I think so, as in, uh, if you look at, um, in Silicon Valley, Google is kind of considered as almost like a godfather of AI. They, they started AI before even OpenAI came about. Um, that's how I would put it. And I think uh, they just lost the mojo uh, with AI uh, earlier this year, and they've started to regain some of it back as uh, they're showing uh, products, direct-to-consumer offerings, that, uh, and they're still in search of that killer AI app, in my opinion, outside of the chat uh, that ChatGPT is showing or showcasing everyone. Regardless, next year I feel they have real catalysts. They have the multimodal model uh, called as Gemini coming up. Uh, they have a lot of new products recently launched that haven't yet demonstrated uh, the adoption that they can have. So I feel uh, Google is in the right spot uh, with the right message, with the right set of products and capabilities as far as AI is concerned. I think uh, that, that and has the best catalysts ahead as compared to even uh, some of the other mega caps as far as AI uh, deliverables are there out there. Uh, let's talk about the team as well, because as we talked about, uh, Ruth Porat uh, is transitioning into a new role at the company, but she still has the CFO role until they find a new person. How yep. urgent do you think then is the need to find that person? Um, I think the biggest signaling that uh, Google can do with regards to the the new cost structure that everyone is uh, has that they have promised investors over the last 12 months that they are going to transition into a cost structure that is going to show leverage uh, quarter on quarter. We haven't yet seen that. Uh, we, to some extent, Amazon and Google, um, Facebook have tried to demonstrate that cost structure, but Google is yet uh, kind of lagging. And I think this transition around what Ruth Porat is trying to achieve is probably a, going to be a catalyst for come next year, if you're talking about uh, upside from, to Google shares, maybe we are going to find a couple of surprises on margins that, hey, Google can actually deliver leverage at the scale that they should have given and now with the transition away from Ruth, we are going to start to see that. So that's the signaling a new CFO could start to do in the first half of uh, next year. And the sooner they get somebody in that seat, the sooner that can happen. And Rohit, when you look at Google's results here, is there a mm -hmm. read through for you, Rohit, to what we're gonna hear from Meta tomorrow when they're scheduled to report? I think what I see from uh, advertising upside, even uh, not just from Alphabet, but also from uh, a smaller company like Snapchat, they are showing uh, kind of upside to revenues uh, above and beyond what Street was modeling as far as advertising dollars are concerned. So what we are seeing from both Alphabet and Snap today boards very positively for Meta and the rest of the ad ecosystem uh, in the next couple of weeks. Um, there's something else that Alphabet and Meta currently have in common, and that's regulatory scrutiny. We just heard about a new raft of uh, lawsuits uh, yep. from attorneys general around the United States today. Of course, um, Alphabet slash Google's under Department of Justice scrutiny. This is something that these companies have largely been able to str shrug off from a stock perspective. Do investors need to be worried about these issues at all? Um. 
In my opinion, um, so each issue is a different issue and has has different range of outcomes, in my opinion, uh, and different range of uh, ways to mitigate those outcomes or handicap the outcomes uh, from an investor's perspective. Um, having said that, uh, the, the most imminent one that is going on right now in the courts is kind of we are entering the second month of uh, the, the monopoly trial versus Google. I think uh, so far, um, if you look at what the stock trend has been, I think investors have uh, decided to skirt away uh, one of the biggest antitrust trials of our generation. Uh, so fast forward that six months, probably we are not gonna see significant handicapping right now, but again, uh, probably that stays uh, um, kind of as a dark cloud at a, in a distant future if there is some uh, compliance or extra slap on the wrist that these companies would need to have. But right now, next three to six months, I think it's uh, it's uh, uh, absolutely clear sailing from a regulatory standpoint, in my opinion. Okay, Rohit Kulkarni, Managing Director and Senior Analyst at Roth Capital Partners. Thank you so much, Rohit. Thank you.